Got a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? The why is about to be answered. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I'm going to be doing a two-part video of Professor Andrew Bell III. He is a stranger that Arthur meets, and he wants some moonshine and then some other things. It's a multi-part mission to eventually get to the, how shall I say, shocking ending of this. So this is part one of Andrew Bell the Third and his mission, or at least several parts of his missions that he has Mr. Morgan perform. Ah, excuse me, bud! What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cause. Well... If anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, he'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. You do not have to talk to Alden in Rhodes right away. You can go do other missions. But if you so choose to talk to him, he will inform you of a stagecoach that is hauling shine and, well, you'll have to steal it. Dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Now, before I find out where to rob the moonshine, I'm paying off the bounty in New Hanover because it's really hard to, how shall I say, work with a bounty on your head. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well... You might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right better to speak to. Now, the note tells you the location of where the moonshine will be delivered and where you can steal it. And it's a long ride. So I'm going to cut to where the robbery takes place.
always make some time for looting. The wagon will still remain there and you can uh, pick up some, how shall I say, extra cash looting the victims of your robbery. And yeah, see what they got. And then you can haul the wagon to the professor and you'll do so unmolested by anyone else. I'm just eating up some stuff and now let's go steal the wagon. I'm going to fast forward this to the professor because it's a very uneventful ride. No one tries to attack you. So, I got your moonshot. You're a Wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity, and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Since you are already in St. Dennis, might as well go speak to the police chief and get the permit that you need. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Hey, mister. Out of my face. Go on. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh... He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. 
Good luck. Now that you got the permit, naturally, when you get there, the professor will ask you to do one or two more things, and that will be covered in the next part, part two. So let's get to the professor. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. And there you have it. You gotta go capture McDaniels alive and bring him in to be electrocuted. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. I will be posting part two next time and you don't want to miss out so you better hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be notified when i post part two of the video and you will be notified when i post other videos about video games i'm brad proprietor of barstool entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by